Matt Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Good morning, Americans. It's Friday. And how? 888-900-3393. Great to have you with us. Great start to a Friday. (laughs) Yes, it is. With once again my little uh, headphone unit uh, screwing up at the last second. So now I've strung my headphones across the room. That's fun. And it's pulling me that way. It's like a zip line. <laughs> you know, yeah. he, Jeffy, he might need some more slack. <coughs> oh, okay. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, good job. Thank you. Good stuff, right? Yeah, I'll this hold is good it like stuff. This for you. <laughs> Well, that's why you're here today, to hold my headphone <laughs> cord. You, you didn't well, know that? No, yeah. I guess I am not. Congratulations. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Today, uh, the show is sponsored by Express VP- VPN. Don't let others track what you do. Keep yourself safe at expressvpn.com slash unleashed. So, it is a uh, frivolous Friday. We've got some, you know, few f- serious things to actually uh, take care of. Elizabeth Warren has dropped out of the race. Wait, what? Yeah, I should oh, have no. broken that to you a little. We, we lost her. Oh, no. We lost her. It's, oh, no. It's very, very sad and very sexist uh, and misogynist. Uh, these Democrats just hate women. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> why, do, why do they hate women? So what are we left with? This is the party that is supposedly, you know, that worships at the altar of diversity. Yeah, so woke. Oh, man. they that What they'd like to do is vote for a female lesbian hermaphrodite, you know, who's, <laughs> who just identifies as female, but is actually both female and male and, uh, and uh, also homosexual. Now, that's a candidate. Yeah. Now, that's, a, that's what they'd like to have. That's how diverse they are. They want to see something like that. Instead, uh, we're left with two white guys. Right, right. I mean, as hateful <clears throat> as the Democrat Party is, uh, I was surprised to see that a Native American <clears throat> candidate lasted as long as they did yeah. in this race. Right? Mm-hmm. Right. She but must guess, be out of uh, money, though, because she called the press conference in her driveway. Driveway. Jeez. I mean, okay, Liz, <laughs> baby. You know, weird. <laughs> really weird. Uh, yeah, so, but I, I love the fact that this party that, that worships at the altar of diversity mm-hmm. now has yeah. a 78-year-old white guy and a 77-year-old white, white guy, guy right. uh, as their choice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good That's for them. Good at. for you. And I guess there's Tulsi, too, but she's, you know. Yeah, what is she doing? I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. But these guys are so old, <clears throat> they're too old to be called boomers. Accurately. Yeah. I mean, their their wow. year of birth. Anyway, there you go. Democratic Party, good luck with these two. Hope it works out for you. Well, actually, I don't. No, we don't want it to work out for them. <laughs> no. That's for sure. No. It, it, it's amazing that everybody is calling it sexist, too. How, how about the fact that Elizabeth Warren was a terrible candidate? Mm-hmm. I mean, the only person less likable than Elizabeth Warren was, was Michael Bloomberg. Hmm. I mean, that guy... I don't think even his own mother likes him. Uh, he's he is hideous. What a terrible candidate! And and Elizabeth Warren, another terrible candidate. Yeah. You, got, you got me thinking, though. Hold on. You said that the, the two most unlikable are uh, Warren and uh, uh, Bloomberg. 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 Okay. Let's let's. Let, you want to see who else has fallen here? Um, Gosh, remember they had Cory Booker was in there. I don't know. He might mm-hmm. compete for that. Pretty unlikable. Yeah, let's see. What about the what about the fun Tom Steyer? Tom Steyer. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> liked him. Yeah. <laughs> Completely unlikable. Oh, Eric Swalwell was in Swalwell, there. Swalwell, what a douche oh, yeah. he was. <laughs> yeah, so the- Amy Klobuchar. No, yeah. Amy Klobuchar. I, thought, she, I yeah. thought so too. Yeah, yeah. maybe the oh. most likable. She and Tulsi. Yeah, the most likable. Oh, remember Julian Castro thing. was in there. Oh, he's Ugh. he's another one. Yeah. I mean, they had plenty of douches up there. Yeah, Julian Castro's young enough too that he can take a shot at this several more times. I mm-hmm. know. As can Buddha Judge. Oh, and Beto. Beto. Beto might be damaged. I, yeah, goods, I think though. Beto's done. Yeah. Uh, I really think he's done. Well, he's going to help Joe. Oh, he's going to be the gun czar, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He'll be the one that will uh, actually come to our doors and knock on it. I'm here for your AR-15. <laughs> you, you're here for your gun. 
Yeah. Hell yes, I'm a, I'm gonna take that from you. I'll meet you at the water burger. Hello, why did you close the door <laughs> in my face? Hello. <laughs> uh, so, whole bunch of unlikable candidates. I mean, completely. Uh, <laughs> They're just there's no charisma there. De Blasio. There's no chemistry there. I mean, De, De, oh, right. De Blasio's another I just, one. I, it's just one after another oh, with my these gosh. cats. Ugh. You know, and Bernie Sanders yeah. is not likable. So Biden bad. is, you know, I guess he's sort of a sympathetic character now because he's got Alzheimer's or <laughs> dementia or whatever. And you feel bad for him. <laughs> but uh, he's not a super likable guy either. You do. Well, I mean, he's... He's, He's more, more likable, likable than yes. Bernie. Yes. That's for sure. Yeah. And then he looks at you and that eye bleed starts happening. And, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. So, man, put the glasses oh, back on. Bro. Wow. Wow. You got so many issues, Joe. Can I get you to an emergency room, please? Can we get you <laughs> to an old of, folks home? It's kind of sad. So, it is kind of sad. Yeah. Uh, so we lost her. So we, uh, we, we lost her. Oh, no. And, you know, the cries of sexism from her, from Hillary, from... Uh, females, uh, oh, Pelosi, uh, I think Rashida Tlaib or Alan Omar sounded off on how sexist this is. These, first of all, these are your people yeah. that you're accusing of sexism. Hmm. These are Democrats. So what are you doing? You're, you're bad mouthing your own people that are supposedly going to vote for one of your crappy candidates. Uh, but they can't come to grips with the fact that they're all just garbage candidates. They, they'd much rather just pin it on racism yes. or sexism. And that's what they did every single time when Kamala Harris dropped out. It was racism and sexism. When Cory Booker dropped out, it was racism. Now that Elizabeth Warren is out, it's, it's sexism. Mm. Oh, shut up. You've got bad candidates with bad ideas. Uh, and they're all completely unlikable. That's what your problem is. I don't even... I don't, I don't think her being a woman has anything to do with it. Uh, it's, I mean, look at Hillary. They, she was she was the nominee last time. What do you mean, yeah. sexism? Ah, so weird. And Hillary is just one of the most likable people on the Isn't planet. Isn't she, though? <laughs> I mean, she's hideous, and they still voted for her. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And she won more votes in the popularity contest than, than Trump did. So how, how do you call this country... Sexist. It's how do you call it racist? We've had a black president twice, twice, and he was a terrible candidate. He was a Marxist in disguise. So uh, it's just it's it's pathetic. But here we are, left really with just the two now. I mean, Tulsi is in there, but she doesn't yeah, really count because she's right. got one delegate, and nobody's going to vote for her. And I would imagine that she's she's going to be gone before Tuesday. I, I don't know. I don't know how she's hanging on. I don't know. This, this Who's might donating be when she money makes to her, her move? Who's do- <laughs> You think she'll get some uh, Tulsmentum? This is the move, yes. Tulsmentum. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Yes, there's still time. She could kick right into gear. Uh, I, I think she's holding mm-hmm. on for that March 15th debate a week from Sunday to hopefully stand out. I don't think they're going to let her be in it. Yeah, and they're going to change the uh, requirements. Yeah, she, oh. she won't be in that. They're not going to have her in that debate. Right. It's it's kind of sad because she she should be. Yeah. I mean, she's lasted longer than twenty six other candidates. Oh, she looked like a little kid. Yeah. With oh my Joe gosh, and Bernie out there, man. <laughs> she looks like a baby in the it's womb. Right in on the big wheel. <laughs> oh, did you say baby in the womb? Uh-huh. Oh, then Democrats aren't going to get let her right, be on the they'll, stage. They'll abort her. They'll abort her. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. She's uh, she's as young as Buddha judges. She's thirty eight. Yeah. Wow. So. Yeah, put up against those two. Right. Uh, the septuagenarians, late septuagenarians. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, uh, they're, well, CNN and Univision have announced the moderators, so that, that's going forward. And um, no, I'm just, I'm just going to see. <clears throat> if I were Biden, yeah. be backing out of this. There's, yeah. there's nothing yeah, in it for him. Yeah, just stop talking. Yeah, there's nothing stop in it for talking. him. Stop talking. That's a good idea for him. He needs to back out. And I'm just trying to watch out for you, Joe, because I don't want a socialist to lead the party just in case. Uh, so back out of that debate. Yeah, that's I mean, a, you don't want none of that. That's Listen a good this, idea. Man. Take your lunch bucket and just stay home. What does he have to gain? He's got everything to lose and nothing to gain. Right. Listen to this. So candidates with at least one delegate you know, qualify for the uh, previous debates. And uh, they haven't changed it yet. But... Uh, DNC. You know they will. Yeah. yeah. You know they're going to do this. But anyhow, as of right now, 
She mm-hmm. is technically qualified for the Arizona debate on Sunday. And then we know what they'll do. They will say, so oh, t- we said one delegate. We meant two. Sorry. <laughs> Anybody with a pending lawsuit against another Democrat can't be in the debate. Well, plus, we, we meant 100. Somebody just omitted the last two zeros <laughs> uh, on the delegate count. And yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So sorry, Tulsi. We've only got room on the stage for two podiums. We have no room for you. <laughs> yeah, we rented a really small hall yeah. this time yes. and uh, can't fit everybody else. Wish there. we could, though. Wow. <laughs> We'd love to. We'd sure love to hear Tulsi's <laughs> thoughts, but we can't. Uh, we're just not there. Uh, all right. 888 933 and at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Also, uh, Daylight Savings Time kicks oh, in this weekend. How I hate it. Right. <laughs> How I loathe it. Yep. Ah, Here we go. Me too. You think you're tired now? Wait till you're you right. wake up Sunday. Wait till su- If you wake up Sunday, <laughs> this could kill most of us. Uh-huh. Oh, no. What? Yeah, well, oh, no. you know, haven't you read the stats on how many uh, people yeah, die? Many on, people die, yeah. Yeah, the day after, the week after. Uh-huh. Uh, kills people. Yeah. Uh-huh. Daylight got, savings time kills. Uh, that needs to be ended. If it saves one well, person, why? isn't it worth it? <laughs> oh, I like this. Let's I, roll with this. I think so. Huh. Uh, we have this. Uh, oh, yeah. Somebody sent me this meme. Meme. Uh, that I thought you would really like. They did, too. Uh, Princess Bride meme about. Uh, uh, We've just sucked one hour of your one hour of your life away. <laughs> Tell me, how do you feel? How do you feel? Yeah. As from the uh, the little torturer guy. Yeah. Uh, in, <laughs> yeah. in the in the tree, the tree dungeon where he tortures people. Yeah, our computer's in a bad mood today, so we'll play that later. Daylight oh, savings we'll time. We've just sucked one hour of your life away. <laughs> Tell me, how do how you, you feel? feel? <laughs> that's so how it's great. gonna. That's how it's gonna feel when you wake up on Sunday. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Uh, so you know, you try to go to bed an hour earlier or whatever to make up for it. It still doesn't work. No, I know. And then you got to get up at two to change the clocks. So just, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what I do. Oh, uh, there it is. Ta-da! Ta-da! Wow, we've got that kind of technology <laughs> that we can just put a picture up there. Oh, I just, amazing. I told you, I told you, the headphone jack is mm. in a bad mood today, and the computer in the other room is in a bad mood today. Mm. But yeah, but but hold on, let's go back to something you said, Jeffy. Um, you know what? Nah, never mind. Go ahead. Yeah, wake up at two. You got to wake up at two in order to do it. Yeah, to get your clock set perfectly. Exactly. Don't we all set our alarms for two I in the mean, morning? Well, you, I mean, that's you're supposed official. to. That's yeah, the law, right? <laughs> it's the law. You know, Florida, man. They, they've been trying to 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 for two years now to get rid of daylight saving time, right? I yeah, I think I Congress maybe have maybe one clock that has to manually turn now. Right, everything else changes. Oh, really? Right, I mean, you have. Oh, I wish what, I did. What's talking what, about atomic clock? I mean, maybe you have. Uh, I guess maybe the microwave in the oven. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And my alarm clock's not hooked up to the internet. Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess you've got some high flutin, big I mean, quality you, internet is, connected is, alarm clock. Is your clock, gated huh? community in a cave? <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> it's not gated. You've never gone through a gate to get to my house. Uh, triple eight nine hundred thirty three. You've gone through a gate to visit Jeffy before. <laughs> yes, uh, at a prison. Right, but uh, <laughs> right. That's a whole other story. Else, though. Else, yeah, though. we'll talk about that later. <laughs> uh, so Mitt Romney has sig- signaled that he may kill any Burisma subpoena. What is the matter with this guy? <laughs> I don't know. What's the matter with you? Is he is, soon? When do we find out that he's just going to be a d- Democrat? It's just changing. he might as well just switch parties right. at this point. Uh, made the comments that took many to mean that he would vote against a subpoena in the investigation into Biden's Ukrainian skin. Why? 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 There's no question but that the appearance of looking into Burisma and Hunter Biden appears political, he said. Well, and I think people are tired of these kinds of political investigations. Well, they're going to continue in the House and would hope. That if there's something of a significance, it needs to be evaluated and that it would be done by perhaps the FBI or some other agency that's not as political as perhaps a committee of our of our body. Wow. Oh, wow. There's somebody up. who hasn't looked at the evidence. Yeah. Oh, for sure. That's what that is. Mm. Well. For him to have come to the conclusion after the prayer that he obviously said he submitted to uh, and and think that he, he could vote for... Uh, for conviction on those um, in impeachment articles, something's radically wrong with with the way he's studied this or looked at it. I I don't know what happened there, but 
the rest of us looked at all the evidence, too, and realized they had nothing. Yeah. I mean, they, any objective person can see that the impeachment articles were BS, uh, but not Mitt Romney. And now for him, if he votes against... Uh, I, I didn't even know they were considering a subpoena on the Burisma stuff. Yeah. Uh, is that fairly new? Yeah, Harkin was looking at something. Mm. Yeah, it, it's, I don't know. The last I saw was... Um, uh, it's still moving around in there. It's not dead hmm. and unless Romney jumps in there. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Uh also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Let me tell you about uh Rough Greens, Vita Smart. You know, dry dog food uh is cooked uh, to a crisp. I mean literally and and all the good stuff, all the live nutrients are baked out of it and burned out of it. Because they have to sterilize it in order to uh, make it last two to three years on the shelf in the in the grocery store. So all of the good stuff gets killed. That's why uh, Rough Greens Vita Smart is so important. First of all, it's not dog food; it's a supplement that puts into your dog's food all the live nutrients necessary for superior dog health. And I think you're really gonna you're gonna see a big difference in your dog after 14 days. Uh, I know that I have in in our little puppy, who's not a puppy anymore. She's she's six years old now, seven years old maybe. Let's see, my dog died. Yes, yeah, seven years old. Now. Has it been seven years? Seven years. Wow, that's incredible. Wow, that's incredible. That sure is. And she loves the the, t- the taste of the stuff, and as does Glenn's dog and Stu's dog. Uh, it just she's really excited to eat her food, and she gobbles it up, not down. She doesn't gobble it down. She gobbles it <laughs> up. Well, she's seven years old now. Right. It's up. I mean, your dog may gobble in a different way. I don't know. Might gobble across. Might sideways I, I, gobble? I sideways. I don't know. I don't know. But my dog gobbles, gobbles up. <laughs> Rough Greens Vita Smart. It'll make your dog's food better. Take the Rough Greens 14-day Jumpstart Challenge today for just fourteen ninety five. See the difference in your dog in 14 days or less. If you want to see your dog thrive again, just go to roughgreens.com slash blaze. That's R-U-F-F greens.com slash blaze. It's Pat Gray unleashed on the blaze. So back in January, Biden Biden said this about his VP pick. It was January? Yeah. Is that what I see in your chicken scratch here? Yeah, I think January 29th-ish. Okay, how how do we not hear that then? Yeah, we'll just watch the video. You'll see. Huh, all right. Here's what he said about his VP pick. And it went a little something like, little something Would you like consider this? appointing Obama for the Supreme Court? Yeah, I would, but I don't think he'd do it. He'd be a great Sec- Supreme Court justice. Okay, second question is, which Obama? <laughs> 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 well, I sure would like uh, Michelle to be the vice president. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not funny. Both don't even joke about that. No kidding. People. Don't even joke about I that. I mean, and they're, and they're, they're both qualified. Decent, they're decent. Honorable people. Bull I crap. found it strange uh, yesterday that in that Republican presentation, they talked about maybe Obama should have been impeached. Hello? Still there? I, I mean, like, you know, whoa. Yeah. Anyway, but- I mean, Whoa, like, what, like, that was a powerful statement. Okay, so I mean, means, you can't argue whoa, with that. I mean, anyway. like, oh, no, like, wow, like, like whoa, whoa, anyway, anyway. Well, that put that to rest. <laughs> we certainly don't need to be investigating. I'm done. Obama. Am I writing for Joe now? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I mean, uh, like, oh, uh, whoa, uh, whoa, anyway, like, anyway. <laughs> it's uh, in the thing. First of all, uh, <laughs> That's incredible. I mean, like, oh, uh, wow, anyway. <laughs> Wow. Why? Powerful. I, where did people get the impression that either of the Obamas are know. so brilliant and qualified? And what? Barack was a community organizer who served like less than one term in the Senate before he became president. He was not some dynamo that had accomplished a million different things in life. And oh, Michelle is, is qualified for vice president. Why? How? In what way? Hello. All oh, the arms, yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Right. Right there. Right there. Right, right there. I mean, you just in the arms. Thank you, right Keith. Yeah, that's right. You walked right yeah. into that one, didn't you? The arms, magnificent arms uh-huh. yeah. that any vice president 
would love to have. Their life is too good now. I, I don't think. No way. Yeah, I don't think they're interested. Yeah. As much as good as it sounds to all the Democrats and what a wonderful yeah. movement it would be. Yep. Their life is pretty sweet right now. I mean, that book money that he got, the five million, seven million, whatever he made from that book deal, <laughs> uh, that is chicken feed that compared pays, to the Netflix deal. That pays for the lawn care. Yeah. Right. I mean, that Netflix thing was $100 million. <laughs> That's a sweet deal. Yes. And, you know, now they're getting two hundred and fifty dollars or $300,000 every speech. Just to they show make, up. Just to show yeah. up. So it's, it's nice when you're a former president of the yes. United States. You're going to be, if you weren't rich before, you're going to be now. Right, you know, yeah, I'm not good for them. You know, yeah, whatever. I mean, they're, they're, they all do it. P for for them, mm-hmm. but uh, there's no way. Why we? There's no way she wants to be in the heat of that battle because now they just come to her and or and him. I think and so they too. Get right, to say their words and say be so so up on high and move on. Yep, yep, and they're worshipped by. Democrats everywhere. Yep. Uh, so they'll always have that going for them. And now their their approval rating just goes up from here. Because when you're not really in the battle, even George W. Bush's ratings went up as much as people say he was hated at the end. Uh, his his approval rating five years later was pretty high, actually. It was over 50%. So that just naturally happens. People forget, and then they, they forget all the bad things and remember the few good things that you did. Although I can't remember a single good thing from Barack Obama, oh, yeah, except the one. song. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the song. He, he held a note for three seconds. Yeah, that was pretty good. And that was uh, that was a highlight of his whole stinking presidency. Sure was. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> remember that one time he uh, uh, pet his dog on camera? That was kind of cool. I mean, mm-hmm. oh wait, did he catch a fly while he was doing an interview? Boy, that was creepy. He actually or, or, did. Or, or, I think he did. Or, right. Did he call yeah. it or something? That's when people started saying he was one of the lizard people. <laughs> from that's right. Yeah. <laughs> So I think we just uh, uh, summed up there you uh, go. all the qualities of yeah. Barack Obama yeah, we presidency. Did. Um, it's the same. It's, lover, it's a shame that Joe didn't want to ask him for his uh, endorsement. <laughs> he just wanted to keep it fair. Yeah, that's a shame. So I just read an article the other day that uh, Obama might be jumping into this if it gets testy between him and and Biden. If it looks like he's going to lose to to, uh, to Bernie. Bernie, I mean, if it looks like Biden's going to lose to Bernie. Yeah. Then Obama might step in and do something there, huh. but you know you got the problem where Joe asked him not to. Yeah, so, right. He's got to release. No, he's got to release Obama from right. The I, yeah, you gonna uh, go against he? what your friend requested? <laughs> <laughs> now, Barack, he asked you not to. You can't well, go against his no. wishes. I think. No. I think we figured out why now. It's because if he's seriously considering Michelle as his vice presidential pick, he doesn't want it to look bad. You mm. know that oh. he was endorsed by her husband. It, we're, we are so fortunate. We are so blessed that she seems not to be interested yes. in this. Otherwise, she'd be a dangerous, terrible possibility. That's for uh, she sure. might be worse than, than Bernie. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. She's pretty bad. Because she also, in addition to everything else, she hates America. Right. And she makes that clear everywhere she goes. See, that, and that's one of the things, though, see, that we goes back to uh, where, you know, they're up on high now and, you know, worshipped. She starts speaking. If she if she actually runs, then things might change. Right. Yeah. You what you re- remember? Uh, what all the things she said about the United States? Yes. Like it was the first time in her adult life she was ever proud of her country. Oof. Jeez, what, what a terrible thing for a future first lady to say about the nation. You fit right in with these people today. I Absolutely you would. Mm-hmm. Yep. These Democrats are pathetic. Um, but Joe has an interesting new uh, little. Uh, advertisement <laughs> does he featuring him uh <laughs> just kind of looking uh-huh sure. i don't know like he just farted or something <laughs> Look at this. Uh, the, <laughs> and i'm joe biden, biden for president i'm joe biden and i forgot this message <laughs> that's a great meme. <laughs> that meme's making the rounds <laughs> that's why there's no other message on it because yep. he forgot yeah, it yeah <laughs> there's another meme out there as well <laughs> set that one up there if we can uh, yeah, that's really good there, this one uh joe biden drops out of the race to endorse Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe. I tell you what, man. I'm dropping out of the race uh, to endorse me I'm serious, in the man. race. I'm serious. I'm not joking. I'm not, not joking. joking. This is no joke. joking. No joke. I'm joking. <laughs> That's my sister. That's my wife. Oh, they switched on no, me. They switched no. on me. And they were standing there the whole time. What do you mean they switched on you? <laughs> when? Maybe they at the very up. beginning? I don't know. I don't know, but something's wrong with him. 
I mean, do you do you believe that? Do you believe that yes, there is literally something yes. wrong with him? Yes. Absolutely. I mean, it kind of has to be at this point, right? As it, it, it does feel often that way as yeah. he screws up. Uh, something that, interesting, though, from and that goes back to him. Maybe he, you know, don't show up for the debate. Just call it off. Yeah, that's that's the only thing. He, don't do it. That's, stop talking. That's the best option for him right yes. now, just to stay away from it. Because the wave is, the turn for him has he, been incredible. Really has. Just stop talking. Yeah, he won ten states, at least ten states, uh, and then so there were fourteen. It was like they revived him. He was dead. Yeah. Ten of I mean, they, they were the, the campaign was over. Yeah, and, and nobody had, expected him to win Texas or the two northern states he won, Minnesota and Massachusetts. And Massachusetts beating Warren, who's that? It's her home state, right? And Bernie, Next it's door. a neighboring state, and he crushed them both. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. It sure is. What a turnaround. Um, the Babylon Bee has a nice story on. On Joe today. Um, Joe Biden says, I am the only candidate who can beat Ronald Reagan. <laughs> that's that's the headline. That's good stuff. Um, fresh off his afternoon nap, <laughs> presidential candidate Joe Biden gave a fiery high energy speech in Houston today, claiming to be the only candidate who could beat incumbent Ronald Reagan. Reagan. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. I am the only candidate who can unite the party to defeat Reagan, he said to scattered applause. When Super Tuesday hits here in a few weeks, so this is a little bit old, uh, we can rally the 150 million Democrats here in this great country of Texas to vote for me so we can get Reagan <laughs> and his crony Dick Cheney off the Iron Throne there in the Imperial Senate. Uh-huh. Go Hoosiers! <laughs> <laughs> So his speech was a little all over the place. Yeah. All over the place. Yeah. I kind of like the part about Texas being its own country. Yeah, though. I do too. Hmm. Aides scrambled to turn off Biden's <laughs> mic, but he beat them away with his walker. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we're at. The time has come oh, for man. this for the reign of Tippecanoe and Tyler too to end. He shouted. <laughs> Though by this point, he had wandered into a nearby field and no one could hear him. Right, right. <laughs> he had his robe on and just wandering around with his slippers on. Sleepy Joe. The Babylon Bee is just really funny stuff. Yes. Really funny. Yes, they are. Uh, you got the onion, but they're a little more lefty style. But but the Babylon Bee has some great stuff. Uh, 888-900-3393. Also at uh, Pat Unleashed on Twitter. So we also have a, a video of Bernie versus Biden in Mortal Com- the Mortal Kombat edition. Yeah, I don't think we have time. Let's How long is that? So over two minutes. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. We'll do that now. Well, let's just let's, you know, start let's see the beginning okay. of it. Here we go. <laughs> All right. There you go. Pick your characters. Right. My name's Joe Biden. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. Mm. Look me over. If you like what you see, help out. If not, vote for the other guy. Give me a look, though, okay? Mm-hmm. And everybody was totally convinced that Castro was the worst guy in the world. All the Cuban people were going to rise up in rebellion against Fidel Castro. They forgot that he educated their kids, gave them health care, totally transformed the society. All right, wow. Jack. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. It's, it's Chris, but anyway. I just did Chris. No, no. I, I, I just oh, did boy. Chuck. In fence. No. Oh, man to China and its leadership. China? Because if I'm not mistaken, they have made more progress in addressing extreme poverty than any country in the history of civilization. Right here wow. in the state of North South Carolina. Of here North in South Carolina. I mean, here in Nevada. In Des Moines. I, I, I'm, I'm in Dubuque. In the state of Ohio. Oh, I mean, oh, Iowa. Man. For some reason, I'm being very excited wow. when, when Fidel Castro made the revolution in Cuba. Kennedy was playing the conservative. And actually, you know, there are, when you read novels, people say there's a, a sick feeling in your stomach. Usually, I'm sufficiently unemotional not to be sick, but I actually got up in the room. All right. Uh, we, that's just a little wow. preview. We'll, we'll play the rest of this. We'll play the whole thing again because that's fascinating. Wow. That's Some of those, sure I, I hadn't even seen a few of those uh, right. Biden clips. That's unbelievable. 888 More Pat Gray Unleashed coming up. Ah, it's Friday. 888 Also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter where we've got uh, Kool-Aid with a C <laughs> tweeting... I don't want to work. I want to bang on the drums all day. I mean, hey, it's Friday. Yeah, we. Uh, that's Todd Rundgren. Rundgren. 
We, yeah. We'd play that for people, but uh, then... Don't, we'd, yeah, but then we... in trouble, big time. Oh, you know, she's so agonizing. <laughs> and they'd, they'd delay us on Twitter, shut us down on YouTube. I, I don't know. Something would happen. Uh, we'd get sent to prison. I don't know. Yeah, something really bad Rundgren would happen. Jail. I know that. Rundgren jail. But we used to play that every Friday. I don't want to work. I want to uh-huh. bang on the drum all day. Just good stuff. It just makes you feel good. Uh, cluster thing <laughs> tweets between daylight savings, coronavirus, and Joe Biden's guns deaths. Mm. How do I survive 2020? Well, you don't. You don't. No, you just you don't. That's that's all there is to it. I'm sorry to announce that, but we just don't survive it. Um, mm-hmm. From Courier for Christ. Excuse me. Might I request an encore of Run, Liz, Run in honor of this wonder? I mean, terribly sad and disheartening news of (laughs) Ms. Warren dropping out. That's right. Wow, it's an uh, all-request Friday. (laughs) Taking your calls. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, This must be the one, because initially, what sparked this particular classic song was a song that was done by a uh, Warren supporter. Yeah. Run, Liz, run, because yeah. you're you know. a mommy. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I have that one. Oh, wait. No, that's yours. That's always... <laughs> I messed it up. So what do you want to hear? Run, Liz, run. We'll try to get it on for you. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> traffic and weather together. Uh, uh, you, weren't re- you weren't ready for this request, were you? No, I really wasn't. Okay. Well, well, we can look for it. That's we why we take really the wasn't. request calls off the air, uh, and then we, we play them back. Pre-record. I have mine, but I was going to play the Play the hers, original? But, yeah. Here's how it goes. It's just better if you have this set up, but I don't. <laughs> oh, no, this is it, right? Yeah, this is it. Oh, All right, never mind. Americans want yeah. our next president to be a woman. Apparently not. The original coming hey, at you. Hey, babe, here's looking at you, Senator Elizabeth Warren. The planet is warming and the power is shifting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need a leader who will stand for all that the lobby is grifting. Run, run, run. <laughs> Oh, that's tasty, <laughs> right? Tasty. <laughs> you shoot straight and tell the truth that we've been chip squeezed and hammered. <laughs> People think that the system is rigged because it is. No, oh, there's a the power to power. Stand up. <laughs> Powerful. The conflict we've known has been cheated and broken. Okay, so that inspired this. People think we should have a woman president because we should. <laughs> they also think we should have someone named Elizabeth because we never have. <laughs> More important people think the seas are rising because they are. <laughs> people think there's income inequality because there is. <laughs> and they think there's global warming and climate change, climate chaos, climate catastrophe because there is. Thank you. <laughs> people think the guns are bad because they are. <laughs> wow, this is really good. You gotta run this run because you're a con. Run, 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 run. No. Probably a mommy. Run, run, run. It's a tsunami. People think that the rich are evil because they are. They especially think that the Koch brothers are icky and they're right. Some people think Obama's really perfect because he is. <laughs> they believe it'll be even more important and perfect with Elizabeth Warren because it will. <laughs> you gotta run, Liz, run, because you're a commie. Run, Liz, run. You're probably a mommy. Run, Liz, run. It's a tsunami. I mean to tell you, brother. Uh, I right. mean to tell you. The tell hits you. keep coming. Thanks for the request. <laughs> By the way, it's, it, it has been verified. Uh, she is a mommy. She's not just probably, probably. a mommy. She is actually well, a mommy. When, when the song was written, we, we, we weren't take sure. The time and to I check. didn't care enough to look. <laughs> I mean, Google. I mean, you just have to type in. I know. Yeah, but I didn't have enough interest to really <laughs> Google it. When you're in the middle of creating right. genius, yeah, yeah, you don't want to be interrupted you like that. Get out of the way. All mm-hmm. right, one more uh, uh, tweet here from Horticulture Hornswoggler in a blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> so Pat had to walk to school, huh? 
Uh-huh. When did we talk about that? Uh, I think that's a reference to the uh, podcast interview we did. Uh, you were my first victim for my podcast. Oh, my gosh. Somebody's about... already listened to that? Yeah. You that... just posted that. I literally told like people at like 3 a.m. this morning, I tweeted out links to it. Uh, yeah, we talked about the fact that I didn't take a bus to school because, mm-hmm. like, I, I just walked. Uh, my grade school was literally, like, half a block or a block and a half, maybe. Wow. Um, wow. But the question is, was that uphill both ways in a blizzard? Of course it was, because those were tough times. <laughs> so, With bullets flying at me the entire time. So, I mean, I was interviewed for this yeah, silly yeah. little stupid podcast. Yeah, so that, that's too, what I'm doing. So. I'm interviewing people. I'm just sitting down having conversations with people, and uh, you are definitely uh, on that list. I mean, I, I'm... I, apparently, I wasn't the number one release. No, I wanted to introduce the Obviously. podcast with uh, you know Pat Gray here. Uh, everyone uh-huh. wants to know about his life and uh, what he's been up to. Everyone so, wants to know. So, so <laughs> eventually, you know, I'll, 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 I think you're going to be up on the third week. Every Friday, I'm going to drop these, and I think you're a couple you weeks relegated from now. to I mean, number I'm three. Barely okay yeah. with Pat being number one. I'm <laughs> not number three. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. Ouch. Hillary's next. Yeah, Hillary so Kennedy obviously. will be next. Sorry. Wow. Then you will be uh, third. Wow, I would have worn a dress if you'd asked. I wouldn't want you to wear a dress, so I'll never ask. Mm-hmm. So it's the it's the Pat Gray interview with uh, Keith Malinak, and where do they find that if they want to if they want to see it? Well, it. Uh, it's called At the Mic. It's mm-hmm. uh, as Jeffy says, it's available wherever free podcasts are sold, and uh, I've got it on my Twitter page uh, at Keith Malinak, uh, or it's At the Mic mm. Show. Go ahead and tweet it out on. Uh, uh, the Pat deal? Yeah. Okay. All I'll right. do that and you can find it. 888 Also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Now, we had this story earlier this week that Tony Romo signed a 10-year, $180 million deal Not with bad. CBS. Not, Not bad. It'd be okay. It'd be okay. I know if they uh-huh. were concerned about him being able to feed his family, should be okay. Should I mean, Keyword. but for just 10 years, we don't know <laughs> after, that. About, well, after that, yeah. he's on his own. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know what happens to him. I'm a little concerned. Uh, so he's all set at CBS because ESPN yeah. was going to make a serious run at him and offer him who knows how much up to 20 million. I think they were thinking. So now they've yeah. had to It'd rearrange. Been worth it it, it would have been, been worth it. it. Yeah. Been worth it. Yeah. Very um, true. It would have been. Uh, but ESPN is apparently now serious about trying to make Monday Night Football good again because it's been so bad. Well, they have to. Ever since they got it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, how long's it been? What, 10 it's years? A long time now. Oh, yeah. 10, I mean, and 15 they, years? And apparently they're, they want to fight for the Super Bowl, too, against CBS. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they need to step up their game. With, I can't with imagine the that. Unless this happens. Right. right now they're trying to get Al Michaels for Monday Night Football, and they want to pair him wow. with Peyton Manning. Wow. That would be crazy good. But we haven't even heard Peyton. Yeah. True. But, I mean, look how good he is at commercials. I know. Okay, okay. He's a really good actor. And usually I know. that bodes well. I, I, don't, I, I don't necessarily <clears throat> disagree, except that I just we just haven't heard him. Plus, you know? if, I mean, look how much Romo knows about football and but, how good but, he is yeah. at predicting plays and I what know. they're going to do and the strategies. And that's, Peyton's got to be at least as good. Well, we hope so. Jeffy and I were talking this morning. Tony Romo has set the gold standard. Yes, he yeah. has. And, he has. and even if Peyton is just yes, good, he if he's not up to Tony Romo. You listen, like I've watched, uh, you know, you go from one game to another and you get Troy Aikman and uh, Joe Buck. And those guys are yeah. those like guys him. are good. I think they are. But, going, but that was the gold standard before Tony and Nance. Yes. And then you, so you go, you can really notice the difference. Jim Nance and Romo are such a great team. And you notice a difference when you go to you really do. Buck and Aikman. So, I mean, mm-hmm. hopefully, and hopefully, uh, you know, Peyton would step up the game, right? Be, yeah, it'd he be might. great. It'd be great he if might. he could. And Al Michaels, of course, is best you know, of the business. Yeah. I mean, well, he and Nance probably are yeah. the two best in the business. Sorry, Joe. Uh, yeah, so Joe Buck, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Although I do like Buck, too, I think he's solid. Uh, I, for some reason, I guess a lot of people hate him. Mm, yeah. He's kind of he's got an attitude, yeah. yeah but uh, well, he's, I mean, he's he's arrogant, mm-hmm. but you know, all those guys are oh, in reality. I don't know. You sure. think so? Oh yeah, yes. all on. of them, yes. absolutely. Yes. Okay, oh, if, let's go back to uh, Al Michaels, Peyton Manning for a second here. Jim Nance uh, to me seems like he's a good teacher. Like he would, he would take. He probably took Tony under his wing and really, you know, which they did when the they practiced, and right. Stuff, right? Remember we that the Hall of Fame game, yeah. the first time they had him in a little separate yeah. little uh, treehouse. It looked like doing the game. I wonder if they've mm. even brought Peyton in at this point to to just do a game in a studio watching a TV. I don't, I don't think he's done any of that. Yeah, so that's a risk there. But I just wonder 
See, Tony had Jim Nance teaching him stuff. Uh-huh. I don't know. Is Peyton going to get that from Al? I don't know. Al seventy five. Yeah. I doubt yeah. he wants to teach anybody anything. Right. Just come in. We're going to do the yeah. game. Right. And uh, you know that's why you know you might end up with Al and Booger. And no. <laughs> no. Al Michaels would. Yeah. He would no. walk out of a I mean, game. Al Michaels wouldn't. He like he would not go if it was going to be him and it's, Booger McFarland. You, you, you know what? I, look at the time. I missed my flight. I'm sorry. We got to pick that booger and flick it out of here. Okay, so <laughs> you're flicking the booger out of the broadcast booth. Flick the booger. Hashtag hashtag flick, flick the, booger. the booger. Flick the booger. That's what ESPN <laughs> wants to do, right? That's what they want to they do. They should yeah. want to. Yeah. He's terrible. Yep. He's terrible. Now, Joe Tessitore, I, I don't think he's that bad. He's just not yeah. great. He's and been you dealt need somebody, a bad hand. Yeah, he, <laughs> he has. But you need somebody great for Monday Night Football. No you question. need the best in the business for Monday Night Football. No question. Don't you? And they haven't had that ever. Ever. So, not, I mean, as long as it's been on ESPN. ESPN, right. So, uh, this will be interesting. And, and they're willing to pay a lot of money for him. It'll be tough for Peyton to turn it down. I mean, he's you know he's doing okay too. I mean, I, yep. I know you're concerned Apparently. about Peyton and you're wondering <clears throat> how he's going to feed his family and all that, but he's probably <laughs> okay right now. Yeah, you know he's on a, he might be on a tight budget, but he's probably okay. First of all, they got they have to get NBC to agree to let uh, Al Michaels go. Uh, then they're talking Al, about a trade of some sort. I yeah, don't I don't know how I that don't works. Know. I it's a weird it's a weird thing. Does Al okay with that? I don't I mean, know. I, right. I don't know. He might not want to at 75 right. years old. He might not want to start over I got again. my gig. I'm doing what I do. He's been doing this for 14 years with uh, Chris Collinsworth, and, and they're pretty and they're yeah, good. That's a good team. Good. That's, that's a good, good team, team too. Are, yeah, sure I, I didn't even mention – we didn't mention yeah. them before. That's yeah. not, those, guys aren't, those guys aren't bad. <laughs> and in 2022, he could retire, although he hasn't said anything about doing that. He hasn't, he hasn't acted like he wants to retire. No, oh, he's still in good shape. He's and good he's still go. great, and he looks good. I mean, you know. Why not keep going? Show up the night before. Look at the look at the paperwork. We moved on. Let's go let's through the game. <laughs> Chris, you can show up earlier in the week and do the background. I mean, I, yeah. Al Michaels. You said he's seventy five. Uh, you know, Vince Scully just uh, retired a couple of years ago. Right. And uh, in that Al Michaels mm-hmm. book that uh, yeah. that we read, Fa- he, fascinating book. It's a by great the way. book, Al Michaels book. Uh, and he talks about how he used to lay in bed at night listening. To Vin Scully call yeah. baseball games, but uh, wow, that's that's pretty cool. But you, you, you were gonna borrow that uh, from me? You're gonna? I was going to, and then yeah. we decided, uh, no, I'll just never, never give, it give it back, back to you, and I won't know where I put it. So it's worth a, it's worth a <laughs> listen, man. The audio book of that is great. I'm not Al. We're not interviewing Al for his book, but if you have an opportunity to listen to the audio book, it's yeah. worth it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I hope that happens. I hope ESPN can make that happen because I'd love for Monday Night Football to be watchable. Yeah, again. that'd be great. I mean, it's 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 watchable. It's just not listenable. <laughs> you know, if you had some other broadcast, maybe the radio uh, team is better. I, I don't know who does the radio uh, broadcast, but oof, the Booger McFarland thing uh, is. Let's see, Kurt Warner does Hashtag terrible. Flick the booger. Yeah, Kurt, oh, is it uh, maybe, Boomer Esiason? No, 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 no. no. Kurt Warner huh. uh, does Monday Night Football as the color analyst. Um, with uh, gosh. Hang on, remember we played, he, he did the uh, play-by-play of the cat running across the field. Uh, oh, yeah. And that was really funny oh, yeah. when he did that. But yeah. uh, anyhow, I forgot who huh. he's with, but man, it's That really... was a highlight. See, when that's the highlight of the Monday night football season, <laughs> the cat running across the field, you, know, you, you got that, a problem with the broadcast. That, that may be an issue. <laughs> it might be a problem. That's why they're willing to spend thirty yeah. million dollars on the broadcast and team. Maybe well more than that, right? I mean, Probably. if you're looking, you're looking at uh, if you're looking at twenty a year for Peyton, Kevin Harlan, right? Yeah, and then you're oh. looking at trying to make a deal with Al Michaels, yeah, and NBC. Holy cow, you're looking at a yeah. lot of cash. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Uh, coronavirus. The Senate just approved eight point three billion dollars. In uh, total coronavirus response uh, money. So <clears throat> they overwhelmingly approved a sweeping spending package to direct uh, billions of dollars towards the government response. The package will be next sent to the White House for the president's signature. Passed the House already uh, with broad bipartisan support. Final tally for the Senate was um, 96 to 1. <laughs> Who was the <laughs> Who is the one senator who voted against this? 
Rand Paul. Mm-hmm. I kind of like what he was going for there, too. I'm, I'm with him. What he, was he going for? What's his thing on He was this? trying to offset uh, money we spend overseas and use that money for the coronavirus Yeah, I'm okay stuff. with that. That's oh, just not going to happen. Yeah. But I, that's, you know, so that's now, Rand. He, and yeah. it's going to pass. He goes pass, for it. Right. And it's going to pass, so he might as well stand up for what he believes. And right, it's going right, to show up right. in some rival's ad next election yes. cycle. Rand Paul voted against the coronavirus spending He wanted bill. you to die of the <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> that's how it's going to go down. Rand Paul's trying to kill you. <laughs> Rand Paul's pro global pandemic. Rand Paul loves disease. That's why he voted against stopping coronavirus. Maybe his neighbor was right. <laughs> Rand Paul wants you dead. <laughs> You know that's coming. You know it is. There's something very Good close ad. to that. Something very close to that is coming uh, to a Rand Paul campaign very soon. Uh, a campaign an anti, against him. Yeah. Uh, also, the <laughs> DE, DEA. This, because of our jihad. Uh, nice job, America. Uh, the DEA is returning $82,000 in life savings that they seized from an elderly Pittsburgh man and his daughter. We had yeah. this story, what, two, three months ago? Mm-hmm. Maybe. Been a while, yeah. Uh, the DEA is returning more than $82,000 they seized from the Pittsburgh man and his daughter <clears throat> after a federal class action lawsuit was filed on their behalf last month. The, uh, Good. the attempt to steal money Good. from Americans is incomprehensible to me. I don't know how it keeps going on. I don't know how it keeps happening. Does it say, have they received the money yet? Because I wonder no. if they've been, mm. they've been, you know, they said, oh, you got to give the money back. They and just announced see. yesterday that they're returning it. So okay, they haven't see. gotten it yet. Yeah. $82,373 that they took from Rebecca Brown. Six, oh, it's been six months. Wow. They better give it back. Six months ago at the Pittsburgh airport. You might remember that. He sent her, he gave her the money. She was going to take it back home to Boston right. and put it in a bank account for him. Um, now, why they didn't just put it in a bank in Pittsburgh, I don't. I don't know. There's no banks in Pittsburgh. I maybe guess. they don't have. Maybe they didn't have it. it but well, it whatever, doesn't it doesn't matter. I'm glad yeah. we got doesn't there. Exactly. Freaking matter. Yep. It's none of your business. Why? Thank you. Okay. Even if I'm going to buy drugs with it in Boston, it's none of your business <laughs> so far because <laughs> I haven't done anything wrong. Correct. <laughs> Arrest me after I buy the drugs. Yes, that's right. We're not doing future crimes here <laughs> in America. Well, we are, but we shouldn't <laughs> we be. Are. Yeah. The Institute for Justice, libertarian-leaning public interest law firm that filed the lawsuit, announced that the DEA will return the money. Uh, the money was the life savings of her dad. The life savings of her dad, 79-year-old retired railroad engineer. Everybody knows he's not a Mexican drug dealer. Right. An American drug dealer, a Canadian drug He's not any kind of a drug dealer. <laughs> she says she intended to deposit the money in a bank, but ran out of time before her flight. Okay, well, there you go. That's why she did. That's she was gonna go to the bank. It closed, so she thought, "Okay, I'll just take it to Boston with me mm. and deposit it there." Again, none of our business. That's right? the first we've heard that, though. It is. Yeah. That's the first explanation. Uh, she said, "I'm grateful my father's life savings will soon be returned, but the money never should have been taken in the first place." That's Amen. a really good point, and. It shows yeah. you that we still have a lot of work to do. And this poor guy had to put off like repairs, uh, a yeah. painful dental procedure. He's been in pain for an extra six months because of this crap. It's nuts. It's nuts. We still have that hundred eighty-one thousand dollars that they just stole from, uh, yeah. from, from the from the uh, people who are going to buy the trucks. Remember? Yeah. Uh, that's that's still ongoing now. Oh. So the jihad must continue. Triple eight nine hundred thirty-three ninety-three. More Pat Gray unleashed coming up. Pat Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Good morning, American. It's Friday. Welcome to it, Triple Eight, nine hundred thirty-three ninety-three. Oh, we got to get back to. We we got to play this whole Bernie versus Biden. Oh yeah, the Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat edition. <laughs> There's some stuff in these uh, montages that we've never seen before. Pretty good stuff. Oh, it's amazing. It's really good stuff. Here, it, yeah, here it is. Um, just for your enjoyment today, Bernie versus Biden. <laughs> Fight. My name's Joe Biden. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. Look me over. If you like what you see, help out. If not, vote for the other guy. Give me a look, though, okay? Pause it for a second. <laughs> Pause it. That's amazing right there. Because he slurs virtually every, every word. single word. Every word. 
Look at the office of language you see. Vote for if you do, I'll vote for the other Biden. Vote for the other Biden? <laughs> what other Biden? Hey, give, give the whole bar another drink on me. <laughs> that was good. All right, let's see the rest of this. And everybody was totally convinced that Castro was the worst guy in the world. That all the Cuban people were going to rise up in rebellion against Fidel Castro. They had forgot that he educated their kids, gave them health care, totally transformed the society. No, Killed yeah. dissidents. All right, Chuck, thank you very much. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, it's shit. Chris, but I mean, anyway. Chris. I just did Chris. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I just did Chuck. In fairness no, no, it's, to oh, China man. and its people. Leadership. Is if I'm not China. mistaken, they have made more progress no in, China. in addressing extreme poverty sure. than sure. any country in the history of civilization. Right gosh, here this guy, in man. the state oh of North God. South Carolina, <laughs> here in North California, Carolina. I mean here in Nevada, and Des Moines. I, I, I'm, oh, wow. I'm in Dubuque. In Dubuque. the state of Ohio, <laughs> I mean Iowa. For some reason, I've been very excited <laughs> when, aye, when aye, Fidel aye. Castro made the revolution in Cuba. Kennedy was playing the conservative. Unreal. Actually, you know, there are, when you read novels, people say there's a, a sick feeling in your stomach. Usually, I'm sufficiently unemotional not to be sick, but I actually got up in the room and almost left the puke. It's going to be up exponentially. 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 Exponentially better. When Fidel Castro Gosh. came into office, you know what he did? He had a massive literacy program. Is that a bad thing? I got hairy legs that turn, <laughs> that, 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 that turn was this, uh, uh, um, blonde that in blonde. the sun. Uh-huh. When we were in Moscow, people here also <laughs> were extremely impressed by their public transportation system. Chandeliers that were beautiful. It was a very, very effective system. His mom uh, lived in uh, in Long Island for 10 years or so. Uh, God rest her soul. And uh, um, although she's, wait, your mom's still, your mom's still alive as your dad passed. <laughs> yes, oh, we're man. a compassionate society. No, we're wow. not a compassionate society. Do you ever regret labeling yourself a democratic socialist? No, I am what I am. Oh. We hold these truths to be self-evident. <laughs> All men and women created by the, go. You know the you know the thing. The you, thing. you know the thing. You know the thing. Wow, wow. There you go, Democrats. Uh, okay, that's that's not funny. Make your choice. That's chilling. It's that's a chilling. Funny. You've got a choice between a guy who doesn't know where he is most of the time, and a guy who would like to be in the Soviet Union. Yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, who loves what Russia did and what China did and Cuba and Cuba. Yeah. And does, has nothing but praise for him. Wow. And by the way, did they bring a lot of people out of poverty? Yeah, finally, once they integrated capitalism <laughs> into their system and became a, a communist capitalist well, hybrid. The, the people that were left yeah. uh, were able to rise up a little bit. Right. Wow. After the communism had killed 60 to 80 million people in China. Don't worry about it because it got over a billion we're there good. to you know, they got a plenty of people to we're, spare. We're give, we've got a literacy program going on for the ones we haven't killed. Stop it. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, that is the same thing as, uh, you know, well, Hitler did some good things. He, he built the Autobahn. Mm. The Autobahn's really a great highway. It's a super highway. You can go as fast as you want on the Autobahn. <laughs> as fast as you want. How great is that? <laughs> Where would we be without Volkswagen? Huh? You still see them on the road, my friend. Uh-huh. You need at least one <clears throat> fairly inexpensive German car. Otherwise, you just have Mercedes and BMW, and nobody could afford anything. So, <laughs> I mean, that is, if that doesn't show you what the Democrats have brought to us and the That's what you awful, get. catastrophic choice they have presented Democrats with, ah, wow. Uh, it, it, again, that shows how critical it is that Donald Trump be, be reelected. Amen. It's absolutely critical to this country. We're done. We're done. If one of those one of those people win, Whew. Tulsi Gabbard. I'm sorry. <laughs> if she doesn't drop out with her one delegate that she has, she's not carrying that all the way to the convention. I think we know that. <laughs> so it's between the two of them now. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Are you downplaying Tulsi? I'm a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I don't, I don't mean to be sexist or misogynist, but I'm just saying. I don't think she has a very good shot here. Whatever. <laughs> uh, all right. Got some tweets here at Pat Unleashed. Uh, Jeffy's Brazilian Wax Boy oh. tweets. Oh. You got one of those? I didn't know nice. you had one. 
Uh, congratulations, Jeff. Thank you. That's a tough job. Just set all the clocks of the world to the same time. So 6 a.m. here is when I wake up, but 6 a.m. in India is dinner time. And then leave the clocks alone. <laughs> I like it. Would take a minute to get used to, but no more clock deaths and time changes. Uh-huh. I like it. I, I like too. it better than savings time, I'll tell you that. Just saves one life, right? Exactly. Yes. And that's my thing. If it just saves one life, and it will. It'll save way more than one life by just sticking to standard time and not doing this jump ahead, spring ahead thing. Jimmy Dimples tweets, daylight saving time may suck, but there is an upside. One less hour to wait for Monday's Pat Grand Lee show. Oh. And the other Blaze stuff. Okay. That's cute. Yeah, isn't that oh, beautiful? That That's beautiful sweet. of Jimmy Dimples. Um, Magic Boop. So did Pat and Jeffy coordinate their shirts today? Twinsies? No, oh, they're no. different colors. Twinsies, they're different. Man. They're different colors. We I guess it. this is my everyday shirt anyway. I have blue, black, and white. He's got blue, white, Whatever and it is. light this is, blue. This is just an everyday shirt. And yeah. Couldn't what does that mean? Find a... Everyday shirt. Well, I, like you I, wear the same shirt every day like Fred Flintstone or yes, Beto? Yes. <laughs> I do, pretty much. <laughs> okay. And then I have I have a change of shirts in my closet okay. that All I right. couldn't get into this morning. So <laughs> That's right. You he couldn't get into the shirts, or you couldn't get own. into your closet. He's Both. out of his office right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffy outgrew his shirts overnight. That's uh, that's saying something. Well, man. when you do get uh, stuck between the the moon in New York City, it, yeah, okay, you need to change your shirt. <laughs> You're Jeffy, if you can. <laughs> uh, hey, we have something new from Alex Jones. This is very very wow. exciting. It's been a while. Right? It's been weeks, months. Yeah, I really appreciate it when people uh, tag me in this stuff on Twitter. I can see it. Yeah, so for doing somebody's it. watching. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. he was uh, he was excited about something. That's hard to yeah. believe. He got he got all. Uh, he's going to war. Pat. He's going to war. He's going to war over what? Do we know what he's upset about here? Well, let's find out. And that's right. how Poland survived a thousand years of invasion. Mm-hmm. You either start protecting yourself or you die. You either fight or die. Okay. Whoa. Wow. Okay. And that's why, folks, there's a lot of changes around here because I'm in war mode. Are you? And nobody in a fight is going to grab me like a woman by the hair and slam my head in the ground like I'm a bitch. Well, no, because you're. <laughs> They're going to get nothing but pure war. You're bald. Because the season of war is now upon us. <laughs> Information war, culture war, <laughs> spiritual war. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. What, what happened to his hair? Is it's gone, so nobody can grab, grab him by the hair. Yeah. I guess that's why. I mean, you're you're well aware of that. Yeah, no one's grabbed me by the hair. No, that's for sure. Not. That's, that, and that's why I, I prepare for war. What are we at war over? I don't know. I don't know what the deal was there. He's an Information angry man. war, culture war, oh, okay. spiritual war, spiritual war. Right, you're right. I, I should probably yeah. pay attention when he speaks. Uh, all right, <laughs> I missed that. I mean, I love it when he gets nuts, but I'm uh, a pioneer. Mm-hmm. I'm an explorer. Right. I'm a human, and I'm coming. Oh, okay. I'm animated. Easy. I'm Easy. alive. My heart's big. It's got hot blood going through it fast. <laughs> I like okay. to fight, too. Yeah. All right. I like to eat. Oh, I like to have that's children. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm he likes, here. Likes to eat and have children. I got a life force. This is a human. This is what we look like. This mm. is what we act like. This is what everybody was like before us. (laughs) This is what I am. I'm a throwback. I'm here. Mm. I've got the fire of human liberty. I'm setting fires everywhere. And humans are turning on everywhere. Mm. Wow. Okay. He still had hair there, though. Yeah, he did. So, yeah. yeah. And he he definitely, you know, maybe he's talking about his chest hair because he takes off his shirt all the time. He's Mm -hmm. got some chest hair we could drag him around by. That's right. Maybe. Oh, no. (laughs) <laughs> I probably shouldn't even have done this radio show today or any because day. I have this disgusted <laughs> cover for how I just hate the globalists, but it's more than that. Yeah, it is. It and, is. I, and I just get flippant and angry, but it's because deep down, folks, I you, can see what they're doing. And I, it, I, we have a responsibility to stop these globalists. Where are the men in this where country? Are the where, men? Are the men where are the men in this world? Men? What the hell have we become? I don't know. We just <laughs> offer our children up to the system with the fluoride and the water right. and the GMO hurting them. Right. And we let fat perverts fat grab perverts. them at the airport to train them for the I, pedophile government. I, know. I mean. And we've just got such a sick society. I do. We do. We do. What about the fat perverts at the airport? Uh, you know, okay. serving up the mm. children to the pedophile government uh, and the fluoride. Get, 
The GMOs. The GMOs that are killing all the men. Where are the men? I need a man. Where are they? <laughs> Here's why he's important. He's the next Glenn Beck. He's the next Judas Goat. Oh, he's that's the next Shapiro. guy to control the Christian yeah. conservative movement. Mm -hmm. Just like Glenn Beck went and married a Mormon to get the Mormon money, to have the Mormon cred. This is one right? of my favorites. This is one of my absolute uh, right? favorites. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Because Glenn Beck went and married a Mormon to get the, the Mormon, Mormon money. Cred. Mormon cred. Mormon cred and Mormon money. And here's the thing about that. She wasn't Mormon at the time. Are you sure? <laughs> Positive. Are yes. you sure? Yes. They were baptized on the self same day. Huh. Uh, very same day. So, yeah. Um, Two years before he married that lady, he was mm -hmm. a shock jock, praising mm -hmm. abortion, no, calling up no. other talk show hosts, saying, mm -hmm. I heard your wife had a miscarriage. Thank God. No. I mean, Again, no. no. He was a horrible demon. Yes, that part is true. <laughs> he worked in more than 20 markets. Uh, market. Shh. And so what? I mean, he's a radio guy. Even uh, it w I don't think it was quite 20. But even if it was, so what? So, That's what happens in radio. That's what you do. That's how you move up. Back I know people, day. Yeah. people that know Beck very well. He, oh, he is. He is. You give him the wrong pen, he and screams and yells at you and fires you. Yeah, hey, how many times is he? He knows. You, you don't have to know Beck very well. He's told that story. I don't know, 8,000 times? Mm -hmm. 9,000? He's just a monstrous, very monstrous. neurotic uh, person. Yeah, person. And he believes he's like a messiah. <laughs> <laughs> he's also got a lot of foreign money and funding coming in. Oh, my oh. gosh, the foreign money that pours into this place? You can't believe it. You cannot I mean, believe it. Some days it. you can't barely get in the front door. Too much money in the way. Piles of it. But you don't recognize it because it's foreign. <laughs> it's from somewhere else. You're, you're like, I don't know what where that money's from. We don't even know what it's worth. A huge huge pile of it what is it a dollar 50 american <laughs> it's six feet high but it's a dollar 50 american right. wow. but there are piles of piles it of every it. day <laughs> so he bet on show, the wrong horse i like show. ted cruz ted cruz has a good voting record okay. but the whole texas act and the cowboy boots and yeah. you know the holier than thou stuff uh -huh. that's an act too oh, i'm not going to judge his heart well you just i'm a real christian but i don't tell you i'm perfect he doesn't I don't either. sit up here and tell you how good I pray on Sunday and put on the whole mm, good Christian act thing, okay? I'm ready to die for Christ, but I'm definitely a sinner. Okay. So these guys are waltzing into Texas again, just like Beck did. <laughs> and they're waltzing in here to get all the Texas oil money to back them. And that gets passed through their companies. <clears throat> mm -hmm. The CIA, right? And then the companies yeah. fold. Then the companies fold. Mm. Okay. Okay. Huh. Oh. So they're waltzing in here <clears throat> like he owns the state or something, and nobody can move into Texas uh, because it's Alex Jones' territory, <laughs> I guess. Wow. Okay, well, uh, there you go. Yeah, I mean, he sees right through us. I wish I know. He sees right through yeah, there's us. No, there's no responding to that. I... No, you can't respond to that. I wish I was aware of that Texas oil money, I'll tell you. I that. know, and the foreign money that's been yes. pouring in like crazy. Uh, and Tanya's Mormon money. Where is all that? <laughs> I mean, they they do have the Mormon cred. Yeah. Oh yeah, There's, I mean the yeah. cred that comes because the being cred a that comes with being a Mormon is outrageous. Thank you. Look what it did for Mitt Romney. Uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, that's a good band name though. Mormon cred. Mormon cred. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. And at Pat Unleashed on Twitter, uh, we want to get to this because this is a a fun video of a guy who got his car booted. <laughs> And on oh, this frivolous Friday, this would be fun to see. Uh, the guy comes out, sees that his, he's got a boot on the car, and he doesn't want to pay to have it have it uh, released to him. And so he takes an unusual step. Oh, no. Well, I comes home today to find out the DVLA, <laughs> mother's cunts, has went and put me a nice big wheel clamp on the front of my motor. Uh-oh. Oh. Look at me oh. being a red bug, eh? Hey? Seeing that is so So let me show you something. So he's not happy because he's not paying. He's not paying they for this. They should have sent me a tax reminder uh -huh. at the end of the day. They want me to pay money to get this scrap heap there. I know. Show what they were scrapping. Been there, brother. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. He's oh, popping boy. his tires. Wait, what? Why not? Uh, they're going to take it to auction. Oh, <laughs> they're going to take it to the auction, <laughs> and he's not going to let them do that. <laughs> he's just money. popping the tires, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Mm. Come over here for the video. Oh, he's cutting up the upholstery. He's popped the tires, cutting the <laughs> Wow. Off. He's like, I'm not paying for the boot to come off, and you're not going to make money of, of my car at auction. He's destroying his car. Wow. 
He's cutting up the dash. He's <laughs> stabbing the steering wheel here. <laughs> He's bending it. <laughs> He's wow. pulling out parts of the car. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh. No, I don't think so. Nah, you're gonna have He's to. Trying to oh, he He's trying to tear the steering wheel yeah, out. He's bending it, yeah. Wow. You ain't gonna stop it. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Jeffy loves this guy. Watch this. He's ripping oh, yeah, off the just... windshield wipers. He's doing a pretty thorough job yes, of it. Yes, he is. Uh, he ain't seen nothing yet, boys. He takes the license plate off. And there's one more thing he's going to have to do before he gives them his car. Watch this. What we got here? We're going to pop the hood. Oh, no. Oh, no. About to get it's ugly. got the trunk in the front? No. No, that's nope, the engine. That's engine. Okay. Watch this. Yeah. Watch this. He came prepared. Oh man. This isn't a this Holy isn't a, a crime of passion. Cow. He had the sledgehammer ready. Oh, destroying the engine. Look at this. Jeez. Man. So there's your car. I mean, I can understand the frustration right? of seeing an automobile we coming out and seeing your car in a boot. I've had that yeah. happen multiple times in oh, my life. Have you? Uh yeah, it is not a good feeling. <laughs> does he, he does he ever he he should have destroyed the glass. That would have been fun to watch too. Yes, oh, break yeah. out the windshield. I mean, I needed my <clears throat> car, so I didn't. I didn't do that uh -huh. when they come out on a. I mean, it's just. Well, so... yeah, it's interesting that he doesn't seem <sighs> to need it. All uh, right. And, and what's the what's the value I, of the uh, car compared to the value of the boot? Yeah, I don't, well, you have, there's so many tickets, right? You reach a, a point. I think where when I when I had parking tickets, I think once you reach a hundred dollars worth, then they boot you. Mm. If you haven't paid up to a hundred dollars, so if it goes over a hundred, they boot you. So you've and had run-ins with the law before. I have. Huh. That's I mean, stunning. Surprise. Right. I used to have to go stunning. out. You had to move. You know, you had to move your car before the <laughs> before the parking meter came by. Mm -hmm. and lady came by, and if she came by, if she beat you to the punch, and you look out there, and there's your car with the boot on it, man. Oh. Mm -hmm. So then I figured out a way that I didn't have to pay the full amount. For the tickets, and he probably hasn't figured that out yet. He didn't uh -oh. have to destroy his car. Oh no! All you have to do is go to the magistrate and say, "Yeah, I got the boot, and I'm I'm gonna, you know, I I, I want to pay the full amount, but I can't right now. So <laughs> just let me pay the ten percent, and you guys can take the boot off. Yeah, and then you just don't pay the rest. I'm sorry, you don't. What, what was that <laughs> last you part? Just don't pay the rest. <laughs> where 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 are you uh, wanted right now? They just don't pay the rest. Where are I you forget wanted? where that happened. Uh, <laughs> I up. forget where that. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. More Pat Gray Unleashed coming up. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. And at Pat Unleashed on Twitter, microaggressor tweets. Uh, totally made my day. Run, Liz, run. I know. Crying, laughing. <laughs> no, no it's so good. good. It's, I mean, that is that is on the greatest hits album. Is there such a thing? Mm. Well, we're going to have... Uh, no, but there will be. On the Pat Gray YouTube mm -hmm. channel, there will be a um, playlist of uh, fun songs uh, yes. at some point. And that will, I'm sure, be one of them. All the hits. Uh, Nana Pat had tweets, Pat, I'm so impressed with your great vocals on Run, Liz Run. Would you please consider doing a duet with me for the Blaze Has Got Talent? <laughs> I'd be honored and forever grateful. Aww. Live free or die, holy Captain Planet, Pat. That song is gold, but not too gold, as that might imply white privilege or some other liberal hot button stressor. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to trigger anybody today. Nope. nope. Uh, Gil Lacroix, <clears throat> there's a hole in the sky where Liz once stood. Somebody's making malarkey. <laughs> uh, and text Jenny five two seven six eight for oh, yeah. Doom. The asteroid. Uh, I know it'll be hard for him to talk about, but will you ask Jeffy to tell us more about his Isle of Spice campaign? Oh, Keith? on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want me to talk to you oh, about that? Oh, yeah. right. When you're doing the interview. Oh, okay. Three Are you going to be able now. to talk about that? No. What do you mean? No, that's too difficult. I don't even, I, I, don't, even, I don't really don't appreciate people bringing it well, up. Right. I, can, I mean, well, you've said a million times. I can times. well understand that people want like to hear about it. the horrors. Right. But you don't battle, like to talk about it. The 18 battles, minutes but, of hell. 18? Or whatever it was. Yeah, 18. It was, yeah. Well, it was more than 18, my friend. I don't know about okay. that. Huh. Might have been but, less than 18. Might have uh, been 12 those of us, hell. Those of us that were part of Urgent Fury uh, <laughs> are, uh, <laughs> are still suffering, so don't be... No, I know. I, okay. I know that's true. So. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. <clears throat> so. Some of those farmers, they had pitchforks, and they weren't afraid to use uh, them. They weren't afraid to use them. They were, uh, they were Cuban not. warriors. <laughs> uh, Grenada, my friend. Yeah, I, okay. I know. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, 888 thirty three ninety three. Also, uh, 
as we just showed you at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. A woman has discovered a plant she's been watering for two years and thinking that she's doing really well. I'm finally keeping a plant alive. Yeah. I try try to do the same thing here. Uh, Turned out it was actually a plastic plant. Yeah, pretty sad. (laughs) Pretty sad. So That's, she's watering. A she was plant. happy. Yeah, she was happy that uh, it was alive and still mm-hmm. looking good and, yeah. and uh, mm-hmm. wonderful. And she two was full years it. later. Yeah, <laughs> and then she realized. Then she got a she got a new little uh, uh-huh. vase to put it in. Okay, and. So she was going to change it out, and that's when she realized that. Oh wait, that's not dirt. That's styrofoam. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I mean, so the. The plant, I mean, the styrofoam kept sucking up the water and so. it didn't overflow ever I, in I two gu- I guess years. So. And she was happy because apparently other plants that she's had, you know, they died on her. Uh huh. Yeah. And so this one didn't. This one didn't. Whenever she remembered to water it and take care of it, it still was alive and, and, and looked beautiful. Now she and, concludes, I feel like these last two years have been alive. And they, <laughs> and they, and they have been. <laughs> And you wonder. I mean, is that real? I don't know. Come on. I know. I don't know. I, I was thinking the it's same thing. It's actually on thing. Fox News, why but did, it can't be real. Uh, right. Sure. I could see. I, I. I would probably do something. Right. Because like the that. post went viral, and it's a you know it's a really good story about you being dumb mm-hmm. and uh, not realizing a plan. It does seem. Come on. Two years. I mean, I, I'm giving you what a couple of weeks, maybe. I mean, we've all had we've all had a fake day? plants that you think are real from time to time, right? Yeah. Who among us hasn't watered a fake plant? But um, a couple of years, a um, couple of years. No, no, you got, no. Yeah, I, don't. I know. She's uh, she's pulling a fast one there. I Come think on. so too. That's just silly. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. And it Pat unleashed on Twitter. Uh, Bill Clinton. Oh no. Claims <laughs> oh, no. I had sex with Monica Lewinsky to cope with my anxieties. I mean, that's why you have affairs. Uh, is that why? Yeah. Yeah, you got anxiety. I mean, hello. Really? That's why you have a <clears throat> fat. Mm-hmm. You know as well as I do. That no, I, you have an I really affair. don't. I don't. I, right. That's what I'm saying. You know yeah, as well I, as I no, do. No, I, I really you don't. I'm saying, what I'm saying is no, I don't. That's because of anxiety. <laughs> when people experience anxiety, according to the Blaze article, they go for a walk or meditate. <laughs> <laughs> that's just silly. Others binge on their favorite comfort food, but Bill Clinton. Had his own coping me- mechanism. <laughs> uh, having sex with fat chicks was my mechanism. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Depends on what the definition of is is. According to the UK uh, Daily Mail, country's 43rd president described his sexual affair with Monica Lewinsky as one of the one of the things I I did to manage my anxieties. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah guy, that's unreal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did he say? He said something about like uh, it was like being in a boxing ring every day. Yeah, uh, shut up. Yeah, being so president, tough. and so uh, you know, it's that, not a defense; it's an explanation. I feel awful about it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you do. Do you? Right? Do you? That guy. Oh man, that's a good thing. Actually, this doesn't sound anything like an Iron no, Man. No, stop. I don't know where you're getting that. That doesn't sound anything Silly. like it. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three, and at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Oh, by the way, uh, Chucky Schumer wasn't making threats. In no way were those threats he was making against Supreme Court justices right. when he said uh, they'll pay for this um, and they won't know what hit them. <clears throat> that you know, he was just. He really meant something uh, very tender and warm towards the two of them. <laughs> and then um, he spent... Uh, wasn't threatening at all. Right. So. Four minutes on the floor of the Senate yesterday. Um, it's being called an apology. Not even It wasn't close. even close to an apology. No. And it's, it's we have the video, but I don't even know that you want to play it because all it is is just him mm. meandering. And, and I think the closest he gets to it, a couple of times he says, I should have chosen my world, words more carefully or something like that, but he never did apologize. At the end, he's, he shouldn't have chosen those words. Yeah. Well, At the end of a three-minute, 44-second diatribe. Well, he, this was a part of that uh, the big abortion rally, right, where we had the one black lady screaming mm-hmm. and hollering how great abortions were. I think we have the video <laughs> of, uh, what's her name, Busy Phillips. Phillips, Yeah. the actress. I'm sure you're well aware of all her work. Oh, Pat's that, a big uh, fan. Oh, yeah. Busy yeah. Phillips, Phillips yeah. fan? Are you yeah. kidding me? Uh, she was there. Busy and it, I, th- I really do believe that if, after listening to her, and, and I mean, 
you want to play her, great. I, I think people need it's to insanity. hear the, the evilness. I think he really did just get caught up in the whirlwind of evil of this rally. Hmm. And he forgot what he normally, you know, he's usually smart enough not to say how evil he is. <laughs> and I think he got caught up in the world, in the actual whirlwind of evil mm-hmm. uh, from this place. Because Busy Phillips, wow. She's best known for her roles on the TV series Freaks and Geeks, Dawson's Creek. Yeah, that was one of her first big roles. And ER. Wow, she's been around for a yes, while. she has. Busy. Busy's yeah. been busy for yes, she some has. time. Uh, all right, well, here's here's what Busy had to say Ooh. about abortion. Here I was, sitting in Los Angeles in my beautiful office of my own late night talk show. <laughs> Soon I would be driving my hybrid car to my beautiful f- home mm. to kiss my two beautiful and healthy children and my husband who had taken the year off to parent so i could focus on my career and i have all of this all of it because 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 murdered my child i was allowed bodily autonomy at 15. Uh, I I will not be shamed into being quiet. We will not be shamed into being quiet never again. I will will never stop talking about my abortion or my period or my experiences in childbirth, my episiotomies, my yeast Oh, good or God. my ovulation good that lines gosh. up with the moon. <laughs> what in the world? What the hell? <laughs> I know. What is? I know. These people are psychotic. Exactly. Over abortion, they're psychotic. Mm-hmm. This is just—it's—it's sh- it's evil. You got to call it what it and, is. And, it's just evil. And I go back to my point of Chuck Schumer that he just—he got—he yep, got, got literally caught got in caught up the in evil. that world win. I mean, how disgusting is that? Like, she's got this beautiful home because she murdered her baby at 15. Couldn't have had that baby and given it up for adoption? No, Couldn't have done that? You couldn't have done that. No, absolutely not. That would have ruined her entire life. She'd still, I guess she'd still be in the hospital (laughs) with the baby, (laughs) uh, recovering from the baby uh, or something. She's got to be what? um, Let's see, she's 40-ish, 41? In her 30s, right? Anyway, (sighs) yeah, no. Uh, so, I mean, if she was on ER, you know, that was a while and ago. Dawson's so Creek was too. Dawson's Creek. Yeah, that was early one of the 90s. Early ones. 40. Yeah. yeah. That's what I said. Mm-hmm. 41. When did she turn 41? Soon? June. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like uh, I said, late 30s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, why do you want to wish her a happy birthday? Uh, no. No, okay. no, I do not. I mean, that's something you can't wish her first child, um, obviously, because uh, she terminated that life. Yeah, I wonder how that baby feels about the two I children know. she goes home to that are healthy and happy. And, uh, you know, just, I mean, it's so, it, it's just evil. There's no other way to describe it. What's happening now, it's not just tragic, it's, it's evil because they love it so much. They're so into it now. They defend it so staunchly. They. Not just defend it, they promote it as if it's a great thing. As if it's something to celebrate. The fact that they have taken a life. Despicable. It's just despicable. 888 900 I mean, it's what you could expect from from so many uh, millennials. I know. And I want to apologize if you thought I was sticking up for Chuck Schumer because I'm not. No, that guy deserves what he gets for this. He needs to be. Oh, he needs to be He's kicked in the rear for He's that. A yeah. Um. The uh, apparently a lot of millennials apparently can't even change a light bulb by themselves, <laughs> according to a new uh, study. <laughs> a recent survey of two thousand young British adults finds that many still need assistance. With changing a light bulb and other things that are just, you know, make it stop. Really simple. Make it stop. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, every day the world gets more and more ludicrous with stuff like this. They may be afraid to get hurt. 
You, you, you can well understand that. Now you're speaking my language. I know. I mean, okay. Some of these other things you, you might think, okay, well, putting up wallpaper, eh, I've never done that either. But Do they still make wallpaper? I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We don't I have any wallpaper do. in my I house. I guess so. they do. Uh, no. Draining a radiator. Nothing dates your home faster than wallpaper. Painting. <laughs> tightening up a loose cabinet door and uh, fixing a loose screw. They can't do any of those things All either. right, now some of these cabinet doors... Are crazy with the weird hinges, so I'm with mm-hmm. them on that one. Okay, but that, that's why you got YouTube, man. Yes, you go to yeah. YouTube and you type in. YouTube is the grandfather of the 21st century, right? So if you can't call your grandfather over to help you figure something out, then you go to YouTube and just follow along. I'm pretty bad at household repairs. I've never made a secret out of that. I'm not a handyman yeah, me type either. guy. Me either. But I can change a light bulb. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure I could handle that one. What about the uh, what about the 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 long ones? You know, the the turn. Yeah, I've done those, those too. Yeah, those, yeah, are, those the, are hard, man. They, they are <laughs> the fluorescence. Yeah, yeah. You got to kind of screw them in. Yeah, and then they light up. Hopefully, <laughs> no, the hard if you part, put them in there right. The right. hard part for me, and we can't <laughs> obviously see on the screen here. It's when when you change the uh, the fluorescent. It's not so much as getting that out and putting it back in. It's that stupid plastic cover to, to it, go back c- on. Because then you try, you don't yes. want to crack it as you're wedging it up there. Oh boy, that's the worst. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, so. But I, that's why you, I have a wife. That's why you have a wife. <laughs> and you tell, tell me, Pat, you you do understand mm-hmm. how to change a light bulb, just like a regular light bulb. I do. I don't think these kids even realize mm-hmm. how to do that. Twenty percent of them. Uh, then we come to this wonderful story with the 25 year old woman who lives her life as a baby. Wears diapers and sleeps in a crib. That's cute. Uh uh-uh, uh, no. Not no. adorable? Again, That's cute. Again, what, what is happening? A woman based in the United States living a full time, full time baby life. She got a YouTube channel? <laughs> Ranging from wearing diapers to sleeping in a crib oh. to playing with toys, obviously. And I mean, of course, she's a baby. She's going to play with toys. Yeah. She, she identifies right. herself as Paigey Miller. Age Apparently age. belongs to a fetish community known as ABDL, adult yeah. baby diaper lovers. <laughs> oh, good oh, no. golly. Yeah. No. You're oh, right, man. Jeffy. Does she have a YouTube channel? She's probably got a Patreon page Because I would live like this for a million yeah. bucks a year. Oh, yeah. On camera? But yeah. is that what is she's doing? Is I don't that know. How? I don't know, no. but some of them do. That's the only excuse she could come up with. Uh, she's making, you know, seven figures. She's able to meet her expenses through the money that is paid uh, by subscribers. There, there it is. you go. You of it. course. Of course. She has set up her private subscription service, and 426 people have subscribed. Wait. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You We're doing this wrong, got man. Got to be kidding me! You got to be kidding me. <laughs> Martin, order some adult diapers. I'm surprised that it's only it's that? only that you know that that I'm sorry. There, I, 400 people are you know. That's well, a it'll lot. be more now because now they know about it. The sickos yeah, know about good it. Good ads. Hey, Pat, sure. there's wanna, a new one out there, Pagey. I want to see the 25 year old baby. <laughs> Pat, you willing to do this for your YouTube channel? <laughs> nope. 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 Seven figures in it for you. Her day begins with... She's not getting seven figures. I know. I'm saying if there were, what's the, oh, what's yeah. what's your price for wearing a diaper all day and sleeping in a crib? Yeah, a million, a million dollars? I'd do it for a million yeah, a year. at all. <laughs> no, I don't think it would, actually. I don't do you have to pay taxes would. on that million? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Do babies I... pay taxes? <laughs> her day begins with waking up in a crib, changing her diaper. Oh, come on. No. no stop this. Ah! <laughs> And then playing with toys and creating content for the ABDL community. Uh, good, good for you. How sick is good this? Good for what you. What a yes. sick world. That's, that's, Man, when you get back to the other side and you're accounting for your life. So, <laughs> you, uh, you were a 25-year-old baby. You're a baby. Dressed up in a diaper. That's and changing it online for people to see. Mm. Okay. Okay. I, did. I just um, needed the money. Mm-hmm. 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 Pagey has been keeping up with this lifestyle since May of 2018, going on two years now, and aims at normalizing uh, this for everybody of else. Of course. Isn't it always about normalizing yes. something? As a full-time baby, both in public and in private. Oh, boy. That's hard to believe. Oh, boy. No, thank you. She gets misjudged. <laughs> and there oh, are no. people. There are people who pass unpleasant remarks and question her intelligence because no. of it. No, I can't. that's hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> you would question the intelligence of a 25-year-old dressed in a diaper? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. 
I want to see her at the Walmart. Man, there's definitely judging going on. Well, it doesn't matter, though, because uh, she is determined not to let it affect her. Jeffy. Uh, Too late. Have you seen her? Good. I have always collected toys and had a younger sense of humor, so all of my friends and my family have been very accepting. They've been accepting? They've been supportive? Your parents must be proud. Yeah, our 25-year-old daughter uh, has a thing where she uh, is a a 25-year-old baby online. I'm sorry? What she now? dresses in a diaper and changes it for people who watch her <laughs> that, do that in the morning. That's What's so, your daughter that doing? That's that so cute. You you call your daughter a baby still. Uh-huh. No, no, no. That's because... No, she actually is a baby. She She's is... a 25-year-old baby. And by the way, um, <laughs> uh, at Pat Unleashed, uh, we're tweeting Very out proud. right now a link to Jeffy's YouTube channel if you'd like to subscribe. Um, maybe we can convince <laughs> Jeffy to... Uh, no, Jeffy would do this. And Jeffy live like a this. baby. Uh... Eighteen dollars. I could get eighteen dollars a month. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I'd do it. So if Jeffy adds four hundred and twenty-six subscribers mm-hmm. before the end of the show, you're gonna live like a baby, right? I'm in a crib. He's in a crib. We I'm got thirteen minutes. Subscribe to it. Go to at Pat Unleashed on Twitter, uh, and you can apparently behind a paywall. I would think. Yeah. Right? I wonder yeah. what she charges for that. Yeah. Now, what would you? If she's paying bills at you know with four hundred subscribers, mm-hmm. I mean you're looking it's at probably what? hefty. Yeah. Oh my. Ten goodness. bucks a month or something I for everybody. Adventure, maybe even twenty. Yeah. But can this twenty-five year old change a light bulb? Hmm? No. Mm-hmm. She's a baby. She's Babies a baby. can't change light bulbs. Babies don't change. You're right. My bad. My, my bad. So who's her uh, enabler? Who's pushing her around as a little kid at the store Good where point. she gets? That's what I'd love to know. Good point. Uh, but it does not. Say. Well, you have to have an enabler. You Even though to. she's a full-time baby, she does have to do normal adult things like oh, paying no. bills and other things. Apart from that, she's also engaged to her partner of there five years. There you go. There's the enabler. Who's <laughs> not a part of the community, but is in support of the lifestyle she Thank leads. You. Who's the bigger Thank freak you. here? The chick living life like a baby or the guy yeah. who's attracted to her? Yeah. I don't know. They're, I mean, it's all pretty freaky deaky stuff. It sure is. It That's sure just, is. I mean, it's sick. <laughs> what a sick world we live in. Remember, that Jeffy. I'm not, I'm not going that far. Jeffy needing 426 <laughs> more subscribers. We have 11 minutes left here in this telethon. If you would like to see Jeffy live life in a diaper as a baby. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. I'm Every, sorry. Everybody wants to see that. I'm it. sorry. No, no one wants to see it. Uh, do you want to see The Office, though? There's a company that's offering $1,000 to watch 15 hours of The Office. Something you do anyway for free. Right. Right, this is great. This is great. I agree. Anytime. To Anytime watch I can the get greatest paid to watch. sitcom of all time? That's Certainly great. one of them. Mm-hmm. Satellite TV website is offering $1,000 to a comedy fan willing to complete an unusual dream job, watching and analyzing 15 hours of The Office. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> I'm, in, I, I'm all for it. Yeah, Let's do it. Yeah, I'd do this. <laughs> Heck yeah. US- I don't know that I'd go as far as saying it's the greatest sitcom of all time, but... That's oh, good. Oh, okay. It's really good. Oh, where, where, where does it rank then, Jeffy? What's the I, number I one sitcom of all time? I, I don't know. Did you watch it? Did you watch The Office? You didn't Not even watch all of it. it. Yeah. What? Any of it? Did you watch any of Some it? Some of it. Wow. And did you see one entire episode? Some of it. No, you didn't see any episodes. <laughs> Some of it. A Dish Network retailer oh, uh, announced it's celebrating the 15th anniversary of, of the sitcom by choosing one applicant to watch 15 hours of The Office, about 45 episodes, okay. and take detailed notes. As you're watching, you'll need to complete a checklist that tallies the number of common tropes mm-hmm. that occur throughout each episode. That's what she said. So the stuff they say every time, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Like, that's what she said. <laughs> um, for instance, how many times does Stanley roll his eyes at the camera? How often does Phyllis talk about Bob Vance from Vance Refrigeration? <laughs> Uh, the goal is to help us understand how often sitcoms repeat popular tropes. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, just we'll, 15 that's hours? the deal. Yeah. Huh. We'll provide you with right. general guidelines to track your experience. But in true Kelly Kapoor fashion, we also want you to share your unfiltered opinions and reactions on social media. Wow. Jeffy? Isn't this the number one show on Netflix? No. Is it The Office or is it uh, Friends? Friends in The Office, I know, are the top two. Well, now, they took, yeah. now they took Friends off of. But that seems yeah. like an awful lot of work for just a thousand. Yeah, now that I'm, I know now that's, that's not a lot of money. It. A no, lot it of is work? not. Wait, I, that's a lot of work for a thousand. Because I mean, you, you got to write you, things you down. Document, yeah, and then they want the that. social media stuff. I'm sorry, like, I'm like, I it's worth more than a thousand. What's it worth to you, baby? Ten thousand. I mean, ten thousand. Now you're talking. Yes, something. And we we binge them all, and we'll give you all the stuff with it. Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. But a thousand dollars? All right. <laughs> Dude, that's like seventy bucks an hour. What are you talking about? I don't know. Still though. Still. Still. Yeah. Still. Come on. You can do better than that. <laughs> okay. Thousand dollars. Shut up. All right. Well. <laughs> Just to watch TV. That's amazing. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Still not. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Something else. Somebody else we didn't get to here on uh, uh, the abortion stuff. Good gosh. How much? Ab- this Is this all from the other day and the, I mean, the abortion extravaganza they were doing on the steps of yeah. the Supreme Court? Um, it Was was this when Omar tweeted about abortion being a constitutional right? Oh, this was, the, yeah, this was, uh, this was some of the stuff uh, post uh, Schumer. Right, they're all trying to save save Chucky. Yeah, and uh, you know she's of course in the game. And she accused two uh, Supreme Court judges of being sexual predators. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. Thank you. Yeah, that's what she tweeted out. Two accused sexual predators should not be deciding whether or not women have access to health care in this country. Yeah, that's not what they're deciding. They're talking about uh, whether or not when you have an abortion, you should have a doctor. Who is uh, who has rights at a hospital that is nearby so he can treat you if if something radically goes, goes wrong? wrong. I, I, that's unbelievable the deal they're making out of right. this. Well, as, it's such a non-issue. And mm-hmm. as uh, as Congressperson uh, Ilan Omar uh, pointed out, it's a constitutional right. <laughs> yeah, that's what and she says. So yeah. uh, you know, we um, all know that. I want her to show me that. Uh, the right to abortion in the Constitution. No, it's right there. No, where? It's, yeah, it's, exactly where is that? Underneath had, the Good and Plenty Clause? She had many people okay. point that out. Huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, many people I'll bet, uh, I'll bet she did. Out. I could show her quite the opposite, where you have a, a right to uh, posterity. Our posterity um, has rights in the preamble. So right in the preamble, it talks about our children have a right to be born. To uh, to life and liberty. Yeah, you know the thing. You know the thing, uh, and all the the, the, <laughs> the, the thing, thing. You know, on the Declaration too. <laughs> oh, she's hideous. She's the worst. Well, one of the worst. One I mean, the there's worst. so many worst. So many to choose from. So so many. Don't forget, you got about six minutes left to subscribe to Jeffy's <laughs> Chewing the Fat channel on YouTube. It's through uh, Pat Unleashed on Twitter. If you'd like to see Jeffy in a diaper. I love this tweet from Tim Young. There's yeah. more evidence that you married your brother to commit immigration fraud than there is for your, your false claims about Supreme Court justices. That's true, too. There's no evidence at all about these Supreme Court justices that they, nope. that they are sexual predators. Just That's pathetic. And by the way, uh, all of a sudden now it's okay we just threaten Supreme Court justices, uh, yep. uh, uh, one of our branches of government? No, yeah. that wasn't a threat. I don't know where you get that. Oh. Because no, he said. Oh, That's I'm not sorry. a threat. So, no, it's just a loving way of, hmm? uh, you know, expressing himself, a, I guess. It's a sorry. salutation in the year 2020. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, what it was, I mean, he claims it's not a threat, but th- is what else can you that's take not, that as? Uh, what else is what, it? America did, didn't hear it any other way. No, that's right. It's like McConnell said. Well, what do you call it then? What what else could it be? No, it's an absolute threat. Yes. I don't know what you're threatening them with. Violence? Because that's about all you could do as a U.S. senator to a U.S. Supreme Court justice. You don't have anything on them. You could, I guess you could try to impeach them, which hasn't been done since 1805. But go ahead and try. Let's see if that works out for you. Uh, let's see. We got some uh, tweets here from Flying Fickled Finger of Fate. <laughs> and that's an old reference. What is that, laugh in? 1969-ish? Yeah, maybe. When I hear Alex Jones describe Glenn's foreign money, I picture Glenn swimming in gold like Scrooge McDuck. Hmm, yeah, I wish that was happening, actually. (laughs) Me too. Not here to satisfy anyone. Seems Jeffy JFR has a touch of the Biden virus when it comes to his memory. What are you not mem- remembering? Oh, his uh, parking uh, boot thing on oh, his car. Oh, like, I can't yeah, remember where that right. happened. Well, man, I wish I could. I wish mm-hmm. I could. Well, you've lived in Tampa. Yep. So does that help uh, put the Oof, man, picture no, back doesn't. together? It doesn't. I don't remember where those parking violations happened. I love I this one, too, from Pastor Sam Burton. Jeffy, want, Jeffy wanted in 23 states. 
and not wanted in all the rest. <laughs> <laughs> That's from a pastor, too. So you, you know he said that with love. Oh, no, thank you. With that love. means a lot to me. <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> I love that. Uh, one more item here on the coronavirus, too. Um, this is really unfortunate. Scientists were close to a coronavirus vaccine years ago. What? But the money dried up. And so eh. they put it in a freezer, locked it away, and forgot about There's it. There's never going to be a need for it. <laughs> ah, who's going to ever get the coronavirus? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Peter Hortez, Hortez uh, says he made the pitch to anyone who would listen. After years of research, his team of scientists in Texas had helped develop a vaccine to protect against a deadly strain, strain of coronavirus. Now, they needed money to start testing it on humans. Okay. This was back in uh, 2016. More than a decade had passed since the viral disease known as Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS, Mm -hmm. had spread through China, killing more than 770 people. That disease, an earlier coronavirus, similar to the one now sweeping the globe, was a distant memory by the time Hotez and his team sought funding to test whether their vaccine would work on humans. We tried like heck to see if we could get investors or grants to move in, move this into a clinic. Uh, but we just could not generate any interest. Wow. Huh. Man, we're short-sighted as a people, aren't we? No kidding. That was a big missed opportunity, according to Hotez and other vaccine scientists who argue that SARS and the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, syndrome MERS, of 2012 oh, Marissa, yeah. should have triggered major federal and global investments to develop vaccines in anticipation yes, of future have, but epi- that, epi- well, epidemics. I'll tell you, this proves that damn Trump. That Trump. Uh, I'll tell yeah, you right now. Man, he uh, that stopped guy. it. You know he did. But in the meantime, uh, your federal government has been hard at work uh, allocating funds to study the uh, mating habits of quail who are on cocaine, uh, watching uh, hamsters fight. Mm. And uh, let's see. Uh, oh my goodness! Digitized well, Grateful Dead <clears throat> memorabilia. Well, what if we what if we didn't know how uh, coke addicted quail acted? <laughs> what if we didn't know that? And then you know we'd be yeah. lost what do you as a to society. Say to that? Yeah, yeah. What if we didn't know that? You know what? Uh, I, what if we had to guess boy, how they would act? Don't I look the so fool cool. now? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> no, no, no one wants to. No one wants to. No go one wants to even like contemplate that, no, that no. possibility. Holy cow! So fortunately, we allocated money where it needed to go, <laughs> and uh, and I'm sure this coronavirus will well, blow I mean, over. I, you, you want your federal government to spend half a million dollars uh, to make sure there's an IHOP restaurant in Washington D.C. so that poor people can have mm. jobs. And mm. is there one? There yes. is now. Okay, well, then you get that good. stuffed French toast. Yeah, you know what? French toast, DC, that's it's better really than good. a vaccine for a pandemic. Yeah. Yes. You're right, you're right. I stand corrected. Yeah, try to eat the vaccine. You won't like it very much. Pat Gray, only on the Blaze Radio Network.